Okay. Well, this is uh, an instructional video for my friend's Dean. Um, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not trained in flamenco. I actually learnt off the gypsies in the south of France primarily. So my technique is my own technique, really, and it's been influenced by the gypsies I've played with. So bearing that in mind, uh, everybody's technique's different. <clears throat> so the particular uh, tapping technique I use for rumba. It's going to be very hard to, to, to actually demonstrate this, very tough, but okay, how can I start? So the basis of my technique really is I am striking the bass, the bass string here and, and emphasizing that bass string because by emphasizing the bass string you're getting the the beat of the rumba boom ba dum boom boom ba dum bum bum you know that sort of dum dum ba dum bum bum ba dum ba dum dum ba dum ba dum so I'm catching the the golpe the tap plate as I'm hitting the bass string And so what I'm doing there is I'm actually catching the catching the edge as I flick over the strings. So I'm going hitting hitting the the golpe and the bass string, and then I'm doing the same on the other side. So you end up with that effect. Down, down beat, up, down, slap. So, uh, and then I vary, I vary that with. Technique itself isn't difficult, but it's got to be fluid. You want a, you want a, a relaxed wrist, 
And the other thing is, um, just for variation and emphasis of particular parts of the rhythm, So yeah, so you put that put that flick in there as well. Um, <clears throat> so that's the basis of my technique. I mean, there's variations that I use on that, but that's the basis of it. Uh, another thing that you might I'm not quite sure what you can see on here, but one of the things that I use is uh, when I'm doing that particular muting technique with the left hand. In the middle of a tune you start doing that which it sounds great but then I also use with my left hand the double stops so I'm playing octaves and what I do is I'll, I'll sort of throw in um, little melodic uh, chordal shapes with that so I'll do things like this so uh, it just it's just a neat little trick that I use sometimes So there you go, um, that should get you started anyway, and um, by the time you finish you, you'll probably have a hole in your guitar. <laughs> but I hope that's been useful for you Dean, and if there's anything that, if you if you can't see the technique or if there's anything that you want to know, just, just ask me. Cheers. <laughs>